hello friends today i'm going to show you one thing how to develop a query as per our requirement first uh, my requirement here is okay uh, i want to know how many users are there for in sql server okay uh, i want to know how many users and and their account sessions okay so for that first what we need to do here is first we way from where we can get this information for this we have one dmv select start from sys dot dm underscore dm underscore sys sorry dm underscore execute dot execute to connect sessions okay so this is how uh, where we can get it, this information here uh, like all these like up to 55 are system session so we need to avoid that so now what we need to avoid that what we can do we can use where filter where session id greater than 55 now see we got these many sessions means total 20 rows we got it now we need to filter here like how uh, where is our login name here let's see say here we have a login name right so uh, our login name and we need to count the session as well right and their sessions now what i need to here and login use login name okay so i need to count it right login counts and everything here comma okay so here we are uh, just uh, do, but we didn't yet group by right so group by login name yeah now we are having login name Lenovo Leo is a six core six connections and SA for 11 connection total six plus four 20 okay but we don't have any column name right so here we can replace it as like as total underscore connections now if you see we got one column name as well but as of now i am not happy with this why because this login is having six connections but i don't know on which databases it is having so i need this uh, like they are into like i need the database name as well in this table okay so uh, if you see here i will take one more uh, query here I don't want to just so here is let's see the database ID is there or not so we have a database id as well here okay so now we can filter this way here you can add comma database id so if you do that again you will get an error here again you need to use this here uh, comma this thing see for sa login I am having on zero database total one connection on one database I am having two connections and for ESA I am having this connection okay so what is mean by zero here is uh, for that uh, zero or one or same or master database okay uh, like if you say we have a function db underscore name 
select db id so now on this one db name zero master i am going to place one here now it is going to master now i am going to say here two it means zero or one are in the background processors okay temp db okay so it means it is like a master kind of thing okay that's it so but as of now each and every time if a database id is master one is master so i don't want to uh, go i need i don't want to see the each and everything right i i need database name as well for that uh, we are having here one function db name so here what i need to i need to use this function name here so in the dynamic id i am passing that here dynamically okay so if you go through that i will get id this is correct so now what i need to do here i need to copy this one as well now on lenovo login i am in the master i am having and two connections for sa in the master 11 connections on lenovo user i am having ms uh, four connections on msdb database now i am opening one connection so now let's see how many connections are there now ranking i am having only one connection for lenovo user so this is how you need to develop a query as per your requirement see once you start with the basic requirement and so that you can uh, like divide from where you need to combine and what are the filters that you need to use so one by one it will come automatically so this is how you need to uh, know how many logins are there for uh, on so for so and so databases i hope uh, you may like this video thank you